Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Mac. In this video, we're going to take a look at a brand new pouch from VanQuest. We absolutely love VanQuest and Medical Gear Outfitters. Uh, we use their fat pack all the time. The civilian medical trauma kit is one of our most popular kits built around that bag. So we have a great relationship with VanQuest. They have a new pouch out, the Teco, and it's a sling bag. So I want to take a look at it for you guys, kind of give you some options here. And obviously, since it's Skinny Medic YouTube channel, then we're going to build a first aid kit using this sling bag right here. So while I still have it on, we'll try to take a quick overview of it. And of course, and as we're building out, you guys get a really close look at it. So it's a good size pouch. I think we're going to be able to fit a lot of things in here. It has the Spartan zipper pulls, which makes it really easy to grab, pull it open as we need items. It's got the bright orange inside of here, so it's going to make it, so this is a darker pouch, but open up, it's going to help us see inside here. So instead of having like a black or a really dark material inside here, which will be hard to see things, I can easily look inside and see what I'm looking for. So there again, I like the Spartan pull tabs. Very nice to get things open. We have a smaller compartment here on the front. We have some hook and loop here on the front so we can put some of our identification patches, things like that. Another large opening here. And then inside, we can stay super organized with our medical gear, which we're going to pack this thing full here in just a few minutes. Nice sling material. Here's kind of like a smooth, uh, soft material that's kind of uh, not cut your neck, not right open, and then has quick disconnect. So if we need to just to pop open real quick, we can get to it. Or, of course, take it up over your head. And then on the back, we have another smaller compartment that we can put some things on the side here, we do have some more materials that we might hook some things in. We'll kind of see if we uh, have anything we're going to put there. It's not elastic, so we'll kind of see what we can put there. Maybe a flashlight, something like that, something simple. But let's take a look at it. Let's build this kit out. All right, so got a pretty good little pile here. I'm going to show it to you in just a second. But I think the first thing I'm going to start out with is a boo-boo kit. And no, I know you guys were thinking I was going to put a tourniquet in there. I'm absolutely going to put a tourniquet in there. But it's not my first thing. I was kind of thinking about like, all right, I'm at an event, I'm at a soccer game, I'm at a baseball game. What kind of items do I want to carry like that? Like, so I don't have to go back to my Jeep. I'm just at an event, like what I want to. So that's kind of what I built this kit around thinking about. So the first thing I'm gonna add into this kit will be a boo-boo kit. This has my band-aids, it's got my ointments, it's got burn cream, a bunch of different band-aid types, just regular band-aids, the knuckle band-aids, all those bite and sting pads, everything's going to kind of take care of those little ouchies that are probably going to be what I need anyway, are all right here in this packaging. All right, so I think we're at a good starting place here. So we'll kind of start building out and see where we end up. But I think I'm going to put my boo-boo type stuff right here in the front pouch because like I said, I typically think that's going to be the first place you're going to need stuff. So I think that's a good start. I'm going to put my hand sanitizer in that front section too, just because I think that's one of the things I would want to have there as well. Easy access. I think this back panel, I think I'm going to put the trauma shears, more like my equipment type stuff. So trauma shears, metal tweezers with a magnifier. These things are great for getting little splinters out, little small things like that. Let's go ahead and put some cloth medical tape in there as well. And then some flat gecko duct tape. Man, these things has a thousand uses. So let's start that right there and kind of see where we end up. Let me change around a little bit. We open this pouch here. And there again, this is where we have multiple things we can organize with this pouch here. This kind of has a see-through mesh that we can zip and unzip. We can kind of see what's inside of it here. Multiple pockets on this side that we can keep organized with elastic bandaging there. So I think this pocket here, I could have probably put my scissors right there. That probably would have been a good idea. But put some of the pouches, like maybe our bandage supplies right here. So I've got some four by fours, five by nines. I also have this rice splint here. Um, this is great for arms, legs, things like that. So it's small and light enough that it doesn't weigh super large amount. So, all right, we got that there. I think in this front pouch right here, let's go ahead and put those gloves because we have the hand sanitizer and stuff like that. While we're here, let's go ahead and utilize that hook and loop to put a first aid. That way, if someone doesn't know this is my first aid kit, maybe it's laying on the ground like, hey, go grab my first aid kit. This is pretty self-explanatory. 
This is my first aid kit here. All right, let's see. So this right here is gonna open up. Let's put our triangle bandages right there. That kind of seems like a nice spot to keep them organized. We have another pouch over here. I think I'm gonna go combat gauze right there. Let's do one of the little elastic bands. Let's put our pre-looped MPA just in case, worst case scenario. And then here, this little front pouch, let's just try hyphen chest seals. I think I'm gonna swap this out. I really do, like I really wanted this T3 bandage. You guys are kind of seeing it on the fly. I think I'm gonna swap this out. One second, let's pause the video. So, if you guys are stuck with me this long, I'm kind of swapping some things out because we're getting pretty limited on space. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna leave these two out, okay? I'm gonna leave the cat tourniquet and the T3 bandage out. I'm gonna replace them with a SWAT T tourniquet and then the ETQ fight tourniquet right here, the everyday tourniquet. I've done a video on this one, it's a lot smaller. So this leaves me a SWAT T, this could be used as a tourniquet, as well as a pressure bandage. So there again, less space that I need to take up. And then I have this uh, everyday tourniquet right here that I'm gonna utilize. All right, so I swap, I'm gonna swap out the cat tourniquet for the everyday tourniquet, because it's gonna slide right here in these bands right here. And it's in there, good. So I don't think it's gonna fall out. Boom. And we got our grab handle right here. And we have built a pretty cool first aid kit that we have a full trauma kit, boo boo kit. All right, so now that I have everything put together, we'll kind of walk through it on the reverse. Built it on the fly, kind of had some thoughts, but built on the fly, but we'll kind of walk through on the reverse side now so you can maybe get a little bit closer look at some things too. So here on the front, hook and loop, we put first aid, okay? That way we can identify as the first aid kit because it doesn't look like your typical first aid kit. So we wanted to make sure it was labeled. On the outside, I went with the everyday tourniquet just because it was a little bit smaller, compact, and I was getting full. You guys can see I'm pretty full here. So I was like, I'm gonna switch it out. I think for what I'm building this for, it works great. If you wanted to, you could honestly put another one on the other side. You could put some chem, chem lights, something like that, but this is how we built it, so we're just doing reverse on it. So have that. In this first little pouch here, we did gloves. We did some hand sanitizer. And we put our boo-boo kit in there that has all of our small items in there. And there's a little better look at the orange ripstop material that's on the inside here. Are we here? We'll flip around the back side. Gives you a good view of the strap here as well. Here's a quick release, and then you have your adjustment here. On the back side, there again, the Spartan pull tabs open this up. We did tape. This is great stuff. We use it all the time. And then just some regular medical tape, because that's important too. Trauma shears. And then I did the tweezers. Okay, so we reverse that. All right, let's open this one up now jam pack full but see how everything's staying fairly well organized so I'm, I'm happy so we did bandaging supplies splint in the back we did two triangle bandages in this little pocket right here pre-lubed MPA and this elastic band right here combat galls and this other pocket right here. There again, you're kind of getting to see. And then on this bottom lid is that clear mesh material. So open that up. Another, this is a pressure bandage slash tourniquet. And then chest seals. I kind of put this in here because this is probably the least thing I would use or it's later on in the process what I would use. So I'm probably gonna be emptied out here if I'm going to chest seals and uh, another tourniquet or a pressure bandage. So 
kind of not needed. It's not my first line product, probably. So view the inside, pretty happy. So there we go. We built a pretty doggone cool first aid kit. That's a trauma kit. It has boo-boo type items in there, has everything to treat a fracture, pretty much some cool stuff. And it's comfortable. Like that's fine. Like for an event that I'm going to be at, I think this is fine. This is great. So you could take off the first aid if you don't really want to brag that you have a first aid kit, but we have everything right here. Super cool. I'm excited. Thank you so much for VanQuest for sending this pouch out to me. Good chance, go to vanquest.com, pick up the pouch, pick up the kit, go to Medical Gear Outfitters for the supplies that I use. Great teamwork, good effort there. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the kit I built. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know. What's something I forgot to add? And then what's some things you're like, man, that was really cool, I hadn't thought about that. Thank you guys for watching. You never know when you'll be the first responder. Remember the right gear and the right training.